Hello, my name is Ausi. I'm Magnus' and Sophia's son, and I will be showing you the way to the house. I'm driving on road 1 from Reykjavik, and I will be turning left on road 35. If you look to your left, you will see the mountain called Ingolsfjall, and if the sky is clear, you might see two volcanoes on the right called Eyjafjallajökull and Hekla. When you arrive at the bridge, you will see a small shop and a pizza restaurant on your left. On the right here is the closest golf course. And then we arrive at the Valnes road to the right with the Valnes sign. To the left is an interesting site called Kerith, which is a cradle with an easy access. You drive as far as you can on the paved road. Turn left at Hrundröð and Mosabraut and approach the gate. When arriving for the first time, call Sofia and she will let you in. After that, you will be entering by remote. No remote is needed for an exit. This is the box with a spare key. You will get the code when you arrive, and please always leave the key in the key box. And now you're in, and I'll give you a short tour of the house. This is the kitchen and the living room area, and to the left is the master bedroom and one of two bathrooms in the house. The other bathroom is down the hall. Both bathrooms are equipped with a shower. Push button dimmers are on some of the lights in the house. You press and hold to dim in, and then you press and hold again to brighten. There is a gas stove. To ignite, push the button and turn counterclockwise. This is the dishwasher.
You can adjust the strength and the amount of coffee on the coffee machine. There's a washing machine and a dryer in the bathroom. If you want to use the fireplace, it is very important to open the stack. As you can see, there is an iron lever that you push to open and pull back to close. To light the fire, you can use these fuel cubes. There is floor heating in the house and you can adjust the heating on the thermostats. Out front is a gas door with a stove connection. Use the remote to use the canopy. It cannot be used in high winds and it always has to be reeled in after use. When using the hot tub, take the lid off and roll it up to the other end. It's important to measure the temperature of the hot tub. Um, around 37 to 38 degrees Celsius is a fine temperature. Water is constantly flowing into the hot tub, but you can add hot or cold water to adjust the temperature. After use of the hot tub, please roll the lid back on.
And here comes the fun part. On a court next to the house, you can play basketball, volleyball, tennis, and more. Balls, rackets, and more is in a chest by the court. The height of the rim can be adjusted. And now I will show you how to put up the tennis net. It might look hard, but it's really just easy.